Ah, quarantine's a bitch, isn't it? All right, Foundation staff. This is Level 4 researcher Theron Sherman. And today's broadcast illustrates the mind-numbing, ridiculous things the higher-ups put me through during these quarantines. Like documenting a 100% normal apartment building. This is item number apartment 5919. Object class, not applicable. Special containment procedures. No special maintenance is required. Cleaning should ideally be performed on a monthly basis. Entry of persons to the apartment is left to the discretion of the designated caretaker, the person in charge of apartment 5919. Description. Apartment 5919 is a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment in the Nierdad district of Frankfurt, Germany. It was constructed in 1984 and is in average condition for its age. The apartment contains the following items. The bedroom's got a twin bed, a bedside table, dresser, lamp, alarm clock, luggage stand. The kitchen's got a gas stove top with two burners, stainless steel sink, microwave, refrigerator, electric kettle, assorted cutlery, crockery, pots, and pans. Bathroom's got a toilet, ceramic sink, shower, waste paper basket. The lounge has got a two-seater sofa, television, television stand, coffee table, and a floor rug. Apartment 5919 has no remarkable attributes or properties beyond what would be expected of other apartments in the city. The last resident of apartment 5919 moved out in 2018. Since January 2020, it has been owned by a private organization responsible for managing property. Addendum. On January 22, 2020, a body retrieved from the main river by Hesch State Police was identified as the Slovak German artist Andre Schroeder, born in Dresden in 1948. Schroeder had been under intermittent foundation surveillance since 1985, after his first appearance in Central European anomalous art circles. While he enjoyed a distinguished career in sculpture, metalwork, and mixed media at his Frankfurt studio, culminating in a 15-year retrospective exhibition, Schroeder, Capital Cognition and Compulsion, at the Paris Are We Cool Yet Millionaire in 2000, he became gradually disillusioned with what he perceived as increasing commodification and consumerism within the art world, ceasing his own work entirely in 2009 and moving to his farm in Vogels Vogelsberg, Vogelsberg oh, we'll go with that, to pursue gardening and maintaining his large collection of outsider art. Several of Schroeder's acquaintances re-established contact with him in 2015, when he returned to Frankfurt to work on what he described as a final, ultimate work of anti-art, which would defy advertisement and marketing, although he never divulged any specific details. He reported having completed the project by late 2017, but he was unable or unwilling to describe what he had created. Schroeder had been seen to be drinking heavily for several days prior to the discovery of his body, and his death was ruled an accident, although the Hess Metal Examiner noted that suicide could not be definitively excluded. Andre Schroeder has since been designated Person of Interest 5919. The only item of note found upon his person was a card of Marshall Carter in dark design. You are cordially invited to the viewing of an ordinary Frankfurt apartment. Price and address upon request. Similar cards were found to have been distributed over the week before by MC&D to a number of wealthy, high-profile clients. See? What I tell ya? They must be wasting my time with this normal apartment nonsense. Do you know what the hell is going on here? Leave what you think in the comments. Till then, that ends our broadcast. Use your Foundation Encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell, and support our broadcast at patreon.com slash site42.